Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf and welcome back to the channel. And now, are we getting a little too fancy if even I'm getting paid promotions now? <laughs> no, I've, uh, I've one of my buddies uh, with uh, with Crytivo, Eugene, who uh, kind of helped me out uh, back when Universe Sim was coming out. Um, helped me with a key on that and didn't even have to go through key mailer for it. I kind of bugged him. Uh, I think I bugged him through Twitter. Um, actually wrote me a note a couple days ago uh, about backing Hotel Magnet. So it's this new hotel and resort simulator tycoon game. And he's like, hey, S. Dan Wolf, you know, uh, sorry to bug you, but, um, you know, I'm working on this new game. Uh, me and, ba you know, he's kind of working with Bastion uh, Inter Interactive is actually, um, is actually, you know, uh, creating the game. And Crytivo is, is backing it and helping him publish it and he's like do you think you could put out a video on the channel and kind of get some eyes towards it because your people are kind of sim people and uh and you know love the planet coaster planet zoo stuff so i said sure send me over the send me over your pr kit and we'll take a look and uh if you guys don't know this in real life i work at a hotel so when he said hotel magnet i was you know instantly a little intrigued but um watching their little trailer here it seems an incredibly little charming game um they like i said it's through kickstarter right now they think if you back it they're like it they're right at twenty-five thousand of the forty-three thousand dollar goal they have almost 800 backers already uh, i'm gonna go ahead and back it as well i'm not sure what tier i'll back it at yet um they start out as little as two bucks and then you can if you the the, the fifteen dollar tier one of the perks of it is you get your name in the credits of the game. Um, and then it kind of goes up from there, 30, uh, 35, 40, and all this stuff kind of gets you different stuff for their Discord group and the, and the actual full game. The $30 backing actually starts you with um, one of the one of the perks includes the full game and wallpapers and stuff like that. So they have a ton of different donation options on there. Um, kind of as I was looking around the Kickstarter page, um, and like I said, it just seems like a pretty neat game. I definitely think I'll be giving it a try. They're kind of putting like an '80s kind of retro resort tycoon vibe on it. Um, and another thing too, this is going to be fully customizable. So it's not, I don't take it as like, okay, here's the hotel lobby, here's a spa, here's a fitness center and plop it down. Um, that's not how this is going to be. It's actually going to be, um, you know, more Planet Coaster style piece by piece. You'll drag the walls, you'll um, bring in your fitness equipment, rotate it, you know, all of that stuff. Choose your room type layouts. Um, you know, you'll be, you'll be putting your, fi your foundations down, all of that stuff. So when we're thinking fully customizable, I, I think, uh, I think it's going to be right up a lot of your guys' alley. Uh, management is another thing that I was kind of diving in on it because I was telling Eugene, I'm like, well, a lot of my people, they like the creative freedom, but I have big management people too. So if the management side doesn't pack a bite, uh, my little niche of people here, uh, my little corner here, probably not going to be way turned on it. But, um, as far as negotiating contracts and, uh, and like kind of battling it out with other hotel sales managers and stuff, uh, the management part, um, they, they don't, they don't kind of, uh, they don't take a skinny approach on that. Um, you've got to hire staff. You've got to market the place and all of it too. It kind of coincides with attracting higher clientele. So, you know, if you want to build a Roach Motel, you can. I think that would be really fun. But really the management side of the game is you want to budget and you want to have enough ADR, which in the hotel industry, we call ADR your average daily rate. And you're always striving for that to be as high as possible. You might hear things in this game called rev par. Um, in the another thing in the hotel world, that is revenue per occupied room. That is kind of when what you're trying to beat your competition out on. Like I work for a Hilton hotel, and we have comfort suites in town, a Holiday Inn Express. We've got Marriotts in town, Courtyard Marriott, Big Marriott Resort in town, and all of these guys 
um, in real life, we are fighting to beat them in RevPAR. We want to make more money per occupied room uh, than they do. And that means even if we don't sell as many rooms as, we, as they do, the rooms that we do sell, we want to try to make more money than they do on their rooms. So that part um, really, really interests me as far as the management side goes. Um, as far as the core features go, you'll be doing a lot of things as far as tending to your guests' needs and demands. Um, you'll take control of the inner workings of your hotel, uh, managing room prices, wages, restaurants, all like the uh, um, Eugene was saying they are going to have, um, let me check my notes here. Um, oh yeah, the spa services, um, all of that stuff. Kind of when you get up into the higher, um, you know, like the higher clientele, they're going to demand that type of services. They're gonna want restaurants, bars, um, you know, massages, better fitness centers, bigger bathrooms, all of that stuff, fancier lobbies. Um, so reading into this, um, even marketing is gonna be a part of it. Like as far as, um, you know, setting up your budget for marketing. Um, so that that is really, really interesting to me. Um, one of the parts that um, they sent me over in the PR kit about locations, um, in my email it says, yes, you need the right location to drop the bodacious boat of your new establishment. Of course, only money buys nice things, so you have to start off small and work your way up. A plot in the middle of nowhere costs far less than a prime beachside stand, but you can build something beautiful either way. Each location will have different challenges, effects, and guest types, so plan accordingly. And uh, so that is kind of what um, what really attracts me to this. And you guys know, I'm not really even a big, I'm not really a big management guy. You guys know I am the sandbox nerd, but I don't know, maybe with my real life hotel experience, this kind of intrigues me a little more to kind of get in and see the inner workings of this and see if that's how this really goes because I don't want to say the hotel business I don't know how it's gonna be in the game I don't want to say it's really like as far as where I work it's not like cutthroat do or die backstabbing stuff but they're definitely um you know we're in as far as our market goes you're trying to lure in and take business from these other hotels like we're not a big leisure destination where my hotel is. It is a corporate type of hotel. And uh, there's only so much stuff coming to the city and it's really, really neat to um, maybe get a game like this to where you're gonna really have to step your game up um, as far as the marketing and the sales go, uh, just to kind of see if you can lure in those, those kind of like higher tiered guests um, from the competition but um you know basically there a lot of this thing they're saying it is going way beyond um you know four walls a bed and a bathroom you know um this is really once you start progressing in this the speciality is really gonna is really gonna kick in um and then you know of course they say the guests are gonna be different they're like you're gonna have guests that are health conscious um you know guests that don't really care about the fitness center they're gonna have um casinos that you'll be able to attach um you know gift shops uh back kitchens you know for your restaurants um, laundry facilities bars nightclubs conference rooms you're gonna have to try to lure um, you know, conference groups in, um, tennis courts, playgrounds, game rooms, staff rooms. They are really, really, uh, really trying to take this to the next level. And I have, uh, I have, if, if, if you've been out there waiting for a, for a hotel sim to come along, uh, I don't think we're going to have to wait much longer. And I am definitely going to give this a try and I'll put the backing links down below. And uh, I just think it's going to be really, really neat if you're a business-minded sim guy to get in here and see how all of these little things kind of add up. But yeah, definitely um, jump on the campaign and read through. I mean, they've got the campaign and game modes. They have the, um, they take you a little more detail about the marketing and ratings, the piece by piece building. Um, a lot more than you probably want to hear me sit here and kind of ramble on by. But um, anyways, yeah, jump on there and check it out. All the links will be in the description box below. 
And uh, like always, we'll keep this going in the comments section down below. And if I have missed anything inter interesting that you see on their page, um, come back here and let me know. And because we know that these comment sections can be a big, big help when you guys are trying to make these decisions on, uh, on backing this type of stuff. And we'll just kind of have to roll on to March and... Uh, and see what these guys make of this. They've got a really, uh, like we said, the whole universe sim um, did actually really, really well on Steam. Still doing quite well. And uh, so that that's kind of like when they have a game that has that kind of backing, um, these guys, you know, sometimes, you know, you're a little leery about Kickstarter stuff, but uh, these, you know, these these cryo guys, they, uh, they've kind of been here and done this before. So um, they, they've got real life examples out there, real Steam, uh, Steam backed examples. So me personally backing it, um, I've got no issues at all. Really, really, uh, really cool stuff going on and um, really, really interesting title that we will look into more as, uh, as next spring approaches. So like I said, they're almost uh, close to their first goal. They'll, they're kind of running this in 30 day goals and um, yeah, I am, uh, I am really, really interested to see what Bastion can do. And uh, big thanks to Eugene for reaching out. And uh, big thanks to you guys for making Eugene kind of notice the channel. And thank you to we're just past 8,000 subscribers. 8,000 people. Like that could fit. A, can you imagine like that many people in a gym or standing in front of an arena? Like 8,000 standing here like watching me talk that is just still a little uh, still a little out there for me to kind of kind of grasp my heads around but gra grasp my head around because it still kind of feels like I'm like I remember doing this for 11 people in my roller coaster tycoon three days um, so just still really really cool 8,000 but anyways guys yeah don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't joined this video and don't forget to hit those links up down below and go check out the uh, go check out the Kickstarter. And I'm S. Dan Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.